So your favorite TV show has been canceled. Yeah, it's a depressing time. But canceled TV shows do get second life, and a lot of times when there's a set amount of episodes because it's been canceled and you know how many there are, it's still worth watching. And there are occasions when canceled TV shows do come back. And honestly, a lot of us would like to see this become more of a uh, precedent in Hollywood land because, man, there's a lot of really good TV shows out there that are a lot better than, honestly, <laughs> a lot of the stuff that's out there. So let's look at an interesting example. Family Guy, right? Do you guys remember when Family Guy was canceled? I mean, heck, some of the, the younger viewers on this channel may not. But yeah, Family Guy was canceled after two seasons, yet it's been renewed for, like, you know, 20 seasons. And that's because the DVD releases it found a second home, especially with college students. So yeah, the show, off the air, no merchandise. Suddenly, it's uncanceled, and there is merchandise, which is a really, for a toy collector, a cool thing. Now, the reason that Family Guy was able to have action figures after cancellation was because, well, it was the uh, sort of the peak of the popularity of the show was when it was uncanceled. And this is what also got toy companies to take note and say, oh, this IP is going to continue and it's got a very robust audience. It's probably strong enough to be able to manage a licensed product line. Now, the thing, though, about Family Guy, this product wasn't sold at mass retail. It was sold at specialty stores, comic book shops online. So you're not really dealing with that planogram issue of real estate with limited amount of space. Another interesting example is Firefly. A great show, very toyetic, big fan base. We didn't get toys till after the show was canceled, meaning the, the merchandise came out when there was no content. So this works too. In fact, this template, if you will, of releasing product after a show, Star Wars is a great example. The movie's 40 plus years old and we're still getting toys from it. So great example that even if content isn't current, you can make toys of it. The opposite, though, is also true. When a toy line gets canceled, but the TV show keeps going. So let's kind of investigate that. And I want to use Masters of the Universe Revelation because, well, it's a great example of this. So we know that the show, well, it had a hit and miss with fans over some of the uh, early PR and how the show was going to be. But the second season, not only are we getting more Skeletor, heck, we're getting a new Tila, right, with, uh, you know, Supergirl, who's... So cute, even her pin mate is attractive. So yeah, new season coming up, new actors, new scenarios, new villains. I hear, you know, the, it's going to focus on the Horde. And uh, everyone's excited, like, oh, does this mean we can get more Masters of the Universe Revelation toys? The thing is, the toys have already had their shot. Yes, the TV show is going to continue, but the toy line at the moment is sort of lingering on cancellation. We haven't heard any new releases in almost six months, and it's looking like mass retail is walking away. And, you know, there are fans who did feel the show was a bit of a bait-and-switch with a bait-and-switch on top of that. So getting a second season, yeah, we'll get the Horde and we'll get more characters, but it hasn't exactly been a runaway hit with fans, the way something like, oh, you know, Mandalorian, if you will, has. So will we get more He-Man and She-Ra content? Probably. Will we get more He-Man and She-Ra toys? Maybe less so. Just because there's content, it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get toys. And when you have a toy line that's already gone bottom up at retail, it's likely not. It really comes down to what the great American poet said. You only get one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a lifetime. And this, this quote actually is very apropos to the toy industry because retail is very cautious to take a line that has already been cleared out. In other words, if you are, I hate to say this, but a failed toy line or a toy line that's been you know, clearanced out, even if there's more content, retail is more concerned with the fact that the product has already proven itself to not work. With Masters of the Universe in particular, and I've used this before, the last time they were at retail, they included VHSs. So, and that last time, back in 2002, also failed. Uh, granted, the content also went down with the toys, one ship. So, the current toy line for He-Man has actually done a good job of 
branching out beyond just the current content, their whole new attorney line of new interpretations of characters. Still haven't seen this Zodak on shelf. If I did, I would totally buy it. But uh, distribution's been a little wonky since sell-through is a little tough when kids are not getting into this. So it's great that the 6-inch, 7-inch line uh, Masterverse has evolved and done characters beyond the Revelation animated series content. With the new season coming up, a lot of fans are asking, well, does that just mean then we'll, we'll, even if the toy line goes away for a year, when the show comes back out in 2024, will we get more toys from it? But unfortunately, the answer is probably no, because once a toy line has already gone belly up at retail, even if there's more content coming out, clearance is a really big deal, because when a product goes on clearance, it means retail wants nothing to do with it. It means that they want to give the space to a different brand that's going to do the number of turns necessary at retail. It's called velocity, the number of units sold per week or per day, per month, whatever it is that the retailer uses as their metric. And when you've been sold at clearance, getting back in again is not exactly a cakewalk. And as I was mentioning earlier, the last time He-Man was at retail before this was 20 years ago. It took 20 years to get back to retail. There's a big fight over space. Everybody wants to have space at retail, but there's only about 20 feet at Target, you know, 10 feet on each side of the aisle, the action figure aisle area. So with so many brands wanting to be part of this, even if there's new content coming out, if the toy line has already underperformed to the point that it's now being clearanced out, the chance of it coming back with new content, slim. A perfect example is Secret Saturdays. Do you remember the show? You may not. It was like 15 years ago. It was kind of set up to be the new Ben 10, and Mattel jumped on it, figuring that this was going to be a huge hit with kids. And there was a very robust toy line based on it. We had characters, you had minifigures, you had uh, larger figures with accessories, you had role play. Uh, everything that would make a good toy line. Monsters, monster hunters, devices, instant transformation. It was very toyetic, if you will, and had all of the elements, and it makes sense why a company would want to license this. But the toy line did not perform, and only lasted about one season. However, the show lasted three seasons, but you didn't see toys for seasons two and three. The line stopped after season one went on clearance, and that's exactly the point. Content can continue. The hope is that the content would have sold toys. It didn't. So it's much more likely than a much bigger scenario of content continuing, but toys not. And Secret Saturdays is a perfect example of this. And again, I'll go back to you know the quote from uh, Eminem that for most brands at retail, you only get one shot. And once you've gone the clearance, even if the content is continuing, that's it. And again... Remember the last time Mo2 was at retail, it included VHS packing. So that just shows you how long of a time period it has to go before retail is willing to give a brand that failed another shot. I hope this video clarified the connection between content and toys and how it doesn't always work in reverse. Sometimes you can have toys for old content, but you can't have content for old toys. It's weird. All right, well, I hope this video clarified and please do share with others. It's the best way to support this channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.